Uh, why did I choose gastroenterology? Um, the easy answer to that is actually three of my four grandparents died of colon cancer. And because of that, um, it drew me in. And uh, once I started learning about it, I realized that there is a variety of complications and diseases that uh, are treatable. And uh, I fell in love with it. I love doing what I do. My approach to patient care, the number one is listen. Usually I can figure out what's going on just by having them tell me what symptoms they're having. I trained at Loma Linda University and there there was a lot of therapeutic endoscopy and that means that, that while we're doing in there doing the scoping, uh, we've been taught to, to you know, remove large lesions or biopsy different areas and access different areas. And now, uh, not too long ago, if you had a large lesion like that, you might just have to have surgery in order to remove it. But now, uh, through innovative techniques, you can go in and remove those large lesions and possibly avoid surgery altogether. Other uh, approaches that I'm able to do is a procedure called ERCP, which stands for Endoscopic Retrograde Cholangiopancreatography. It's actually a, uh, it's a very wordy, but uh, it's, you go down, you take a scope and you go down and actually put a wire up into the bile ducts and you pull if there's any lesions or are stones there, you can remove those stones. The most rewarding part, I would have to say, is after treatment, after visiting with my patients, when they come back and they say, hey doc, I feel better. You know, GI is, is dirty business and uh, most people don't like to talk about it, don't like to even think about it, but it really inhibits your quality of life. If you're at a social event always looking for a bathroom, or if you just can't eat anything because otherwise you're gonna have too much pain afterwards. And knowing that I help them and, and improve their social life or improve just their quality of life is very rewarding.